What is up, all my favorite people of the internet? My name is the Mighty Mud Crab, and today, listen to this noise I can make. <coughs> That's not why I gathered you all here today. What I really want to do is something we really haven't done on this channel in quite some time, and that's a proper review over food or a beverage. Now, the food and or beverage, if you couldn't tell by the title of the video that I've selected, is none other than... Mug... Mug Root Beer. Get it in the lighting. Mug Root Beer. This root beer. It's Mug Root Beer. It's the best root beer. I'm sure you all are aware of the meme, the Mug Root Beer meme. You know, Root Beer, Mug Root Beer. Oh, what? You're a Barks fan? Don't have Mug? That's okay. I always have my own. Well, we're here to finally see if those memes have any validity. And, uh, well, you know the drill. We're going to read the nutritional facts. We're going to give a flavor test. I'm going to give my little star rating. I rate them on like a five star scale that more often times than not, I forgot, I forget to even add. So it kind of ruins the point of the review. But uh, yeah, that's enough yapping for me. Let's get into the product. Now, mug root beer, I'll go ahead and show you, show you the true facts. If my camera will focus on it, you got three, two, one. Well, if you see them, don't, didn't see them, don't worry, I'll read them off to you. One can of mug root beer, one can is one serving size, has 160 calories, it has zero grams of total fat, 65 milligrams of sodium, which is 3% of your daily value, has 43 grams of carbohydrates, which is 16% of all the carbs you're supposed to receive in a day, 43 grams of sugar, which is all added sugar, which is 86% of your daily intake, and no protein to speak of. And it is uh, not a significant source of saturated fat, trans fat, cholesterol, dietary fiber, vitamin D, calcium, iron, and or potassium. So, yeah, uh, ingredients, you got standard stuff. You got carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, caramel color, uh, sodium benzate, uh, preserves freshness, as it so claims, citric acid, natural and artificial flavors, calcium disodum, uh... Ed -eta, to protect flavor, and this next word's harder than the last word to pronounce. It starts with a Q. We all know how I feel about the letter Q. Quilia extract, and of course, this is a subsidiary of. Um, well, I thought I would say it on here. New Century Beverage Company. I, I'm sure. I'm almost positive this is a Pepsi product. Um, you can fact check me on that. But, uh, listen to this. Oh, mug root beer, uh, smells like root beer, believe it or not. If you ever had those root beer dum-dums, it smells like those, but better, uh, taste-wise. Um, I know some people say I don't really review the product. I just say it's good or bad. So let me try to provide somewhat of better wordings, you know? Pardon me. Uh, on the chuggability scale... It's easily a 5 out of 5. There's no uh, excess carbonation, I would say, preventing the chug. It's very smooth with no weird aftertaste. It's very good going down. Uh, the taste in your mouth, I would say, stays for about 5-ish seconds, maybe a little bit less before it dissipates. On the sipper sample... Definitely smooth and I, I would dare say a little bit creamier than most root beers. I think the only root beer I had that's had a smoother and or creamier mouthfeel would be that Virgil's root beer I reviewed. But that came with like a cork and everything and this is like a you know, 12 pack so this is still better by the way. Uh, 
I've had this. If you're a fan of root beer floats, like I quite, I, I'm quite a fan of root beer floats. This is probably the best root beer to pair the float because it goes very well with the vanilla ice cream. Uh, yeah, I mean that's really all to say. You got the. Uh, I mean, it's just uh, you already know this is going to be one of the very few products that I will bestow a five out of five on. There is. Uh, Hardly any room for uh, for it to be improved. Uh, look at the funny dog with the root beer. I'm going to try to make this my thumbnail. Hold on. YouTube likes to make good thumbnails. Alright. So, yeah. Uh, if you made it this far, tell uh, comment below. Uh... Comment below, uh, real mug fan, or, uh, something like that, no barks here. Uh, and with that being said, I really do hope you enjoy this video. I hope you would give this video a thumbs up, and I would also hope that you would subscribe to my channel, because if you don't, the mug root beard dog is going to come get you, and you don't want that.